Hello everyone, my name is Christopher Liu, and it's my pleasure to virtually tour you through my recent solo exhibition, Contact. Contact is a short film comprised of five scenes, all hand-painted, composited, and collaged to create an audio-visual installation experience. Stop frame, scratch film, and painted frames are of the numerous techniques used to abstract the sensation of touch. I draw from the void and manifest expressions of the sensation that I have felt to some extent, yet am never able to retain. The warmth and embrace of another person is fleeting and intangible. The elusive and intangible such as light and touch are some of the devices that I use to manifest my work. Once the story was animated, I decided that the way to bring this illusion of movement on the screen into reality was to incorporate the physical, individual lifeless cells into their own unique works. The panel scene, scene 2, reshape, lent itself to its own display, but the scratch film, scene 3, retention, would show its true colors hung and illuminated. Half of the watercolors were woven and strung, and the rest torn apart and reassembled in 3D collages breaking the surface to reach out into the space. I once again invite you to experience the physicality of animation and the retold classics of genesis and introspection, conflict and unity, and transience and reincarnation. I present Contact. When determining where to start my story, I began with water, the stuff of life. Life manifests from the water just as I put paint to white paper. The rain gives way to fluid life forms that dance across the screen in a careful choreography, depicting qualities of attraction, division, and separation. The physical depiction of the scene is a collage made up of actual animated paintings, the paintings or cells in the animation that were torn apart and rearranged. Arms reach out over the void of drops, reinforcing the theme of attraction. In the panel sequence, I want to depict the inertia and power of water. These nodes fall from the sky, crashing into the twilight earth. Their wake washes across the panel and steadies to a stream where their energies gather. Their distillation into threads of energy and subsequent anonymity coalesces into one eye that opens, closes, and opens again to direct us to the next scene. The completed animation takes its final form as a painting display, marking the end of the first act.
Seen here is my experimentation and application of direct animation on film. The film consists of two main layers. The timing layer consists of a background made up of transparent colors and textures. This allowed me to time the opaque rotoscope layer to the music, creating a jarring, syncopated visual cadence. The rotoscoped layer depicts figures mapped to movements of fighting, dueling, and other martial arts. I chose these movements specifically for their duality. These are practices of discipline and a means to learn how to control and synchronize the body with the mind. However, these actions, when driven by emotion or without restraint, are expressions of violence, thus depicting the destructive quality of touch. The physical work is the bespoke 35mm film displayed on an acrylic panel, allowing light to pass through like the work of animator Paul Sheridus. Scene 4 is the climax of the animation. I use celestial imagery like raging black holes, turbulent event horizons, and the raging sun to tap into something larger than what is fathomable. Something a magnitude greater than the field notes book in which they were painted. We witness a black spot breathe and beat rapidly and see the aggression of the last scene dissipate to light. We interact with a field of light imagined through solar flares and are launched from the sun's gravity, only to turn and face an explosion of light. Rising from the light is a single bird, radiating with light and color, taking off into space. The creature melts into notes reborn that rejoin to create a final wake of light. The physical work is an opposing parallel collage to scene 1, depicting a state of repulsion instead. The flares project from the black like eyelids of a wide open eye. It sees but cannot feel anything, but the emptiness render as the pupil. In the credit sequence, the light moves across the screen and over the earth. These energies, in a state of transience, are on an outbound trajectory, leaving behind the complex space of the earth and sun for a new world or new place, in a state of unity.
This is the only scene depicted physically in its entirety in the installation without any alterations to preserve the frames and their respective individuality. The space is adorned with additional works made from the physical cells to immerse the viewer in the animation. The intention of the streamers was to create vertical engagement and catch some of the light reflecting from the screen from the ambient loop and premiering animation. The loop showcased some of the behind-the-scenes work of the previsualized animation and provided ambient imagery and soundscape. The sounds of Usama Noguchi's Waterstone at the Metropolitan Museum of Art are prominently featured in this soundscape and the animation itself. The short is set to music by Hiroyuki Sawada, a Japanese composer, arranger, music producer, and musician. In my time as a figure skater and choreographer, I used, referenced, and was inspired by his melodies. This familiarity I had with his music and style deeply resonated with me, even beyond skating and choreography, and into the visual realm of painting and the dynamic painting that is animation. It seemed fitting that I would choreograph these movements, these brush strokes, and the flickering pages to his music. On display, in between the main sequences, are excerpts pulled from the streamers and spared from the collages. These were key story elements preserved as a means to enjoy their scale and a way for the public to interface with the individual frames that ultimately combine to create the short. I'd like to thank everyone who supported me in all the big and small ways in helping me realize this vision. It's my absolute pleasure to finally conclude this incredible project I've had the chance to create. <laughs>